Okay, yes, that's Blue Jack quarterback draw. Motion, swims right, double slap. Hit it again, let's go, let's go. Ball, that's perfect. No, that's too deep. Hey, that's why you got beat. You got to cut it short. Go line. Let's go. Yep, yep. What's up? Hey, Y'all got DBs? Yeah. Plenty? Yeah, the only one not here is Carlos? I'm listening to you. Yeah. He's, he's incoming. Martini? Martini? Martini, yeah. He's okay, all right, good. American football in Italy. What do yeah. you think? It's awesome. It's unbelievable. I mean, to me, it's uh, it's a, it's at its purest form. I mean, these guys are playing the game because they love it. And that's why I'm coaching it. It's 9 p.m. on a Friday night in Florence, Italy, and we're fixing to start a workout. So it's, it's all good. Our former coach decided to go back to the States and uh, we decided to wrote down uh, some big, big names that we, we know for sure we didn't uh, make it like uh, joking about it because we, we know some people will laugh at us uh, trying to hire them. And honestly, the first name on the list was Coach Brad. Eduardo, who's our GM, called me back in uh, July, kind of mentioned something about they had a team over here played American football wanted to know if I'd be interested in coaching and yeah, I kind of thought I was getting pranked a little bit you know because I didn't know uh, but then I I looked at it looked into it and uh, then I got excited about it you know and then it's just been it's been a great journey for my wife and myself and and you know I've got to include some other people that are, are dear to me also I got Silas and Lynx over here uh, that came with me this spring so that's really added a lot of uh, camaraderie to it Legitimate question, how do you feel like you're doing at quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> honest, uh, honest. Honest question. Yeah, what's it like playing for Coach Browse again? That's crazy. I never thought I would ever be on the same football field as him again, to be honest, when I left Baylor. It's so cool getting to play with him again, honestly. Yeah, I would say uh, being at Baylor, I knew Coach Browse as the coach. And now I know Coach Browse is the man. And just like any other football player, you look up to him and you never really know him. And now like, I know exactly what it was that made him have that charisma that people wanted to know him, wanted to look up to him, wanted to be like him. And, and it all makes sense now. Yeah, it definitely helps with the team chemistry a lot. Uh, the camaraderie is already there. We both already know the offense because we both played for him at Baylor. And that's huge out here because a lot of times the imports and the coaches and the Italian players or European players are not on the same page. And we came over here already being on the same page and whatever Coach Brown says, let's do it. Uh, talking about schedule, we're practicing uh, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. And this is going to be throughout, like the whole season's going to be this way. So, other than this, uh, during the week, I'd like you to go um, at least four times in, in the gym. And uh, you manage your own schedule, your own time uh, mm. between uh, Monday to Friday. Our schedules are pretty free. So, we practice Tuesday, Friday and Saturday morning. But other than that, it's pretty much up to us to determine what we do. And so it is really important to have self-discipline, to get to the gym on your own, work out, and take care of what you need to take care of because no one's telling you when to go, what to do. And honestly, I mean, for sure, Coach Bryles is a big, big uh, uh, help. Mm -hmm. And you two guys are a big, big help in terms of import, but there are nine Italian players and two <laughs> import players. So mm -hmm. no matter how good you are, if the other nine are not playing well, we're not going to win. Uh, the Italian players are very important to the team's success, um, with there being only two Americans. I think the goal of the Italian Football League is to grow the sport and the interest in Italy. Um, and you're not going to really be able to grow the interest of Italian players if you bring 22 Americans to come and play and none of the Italians get to play. The level of the Italian play, that's where you win football games. So helping the Italians get better is just as important as me performing well. Oh.
Jacopo Bardini, number one. I'm a wide receiver. Uh, I look forward to this season because um, there is a certain feeling this this year that something exciting is going to come down. So practicing and playing for a coach that uh, that has win at a college level, that has done it all, you know, it's yeah, it's energizing. <laughs> I mean, I'm 36 years old and I came back just for this because. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the buzz, the feeling, the, the, the excitement, uh, I lo I'm looking forward to this season. What are you expecting ahead of this season here in Firenze? Uh, I'm expecting a lot of points, uh, hopefully get a lot of fans out too this year. I think we got seven weeks until the next game and um, seven weeks is plenty of time to get this offense installed. Being reunited with Coach Drive and Link bring back memories from Baylor time. Is there the sense of closing a circle and winning something together? Yes, absolutely. Us three coming together, in my opinion, wasn't a coincidence. I believe that God brought us all back together here across the world to do something special. Ready? Go! Just like that. That was a bad ball, but... On the line, on the line. Ready, you're on the line. Watch, watch, watch. Hey, Silas, go. Yeah. Oh. Hey, oh. hey, oh. hey, oh. hey, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's good, that's good. Good job. Did you get that last play? Where Mateo needs to run. Mateo, you see it on film. You got to get your butt down the field and score a touchdown so we can celebrate together and eat some pizza. The level of play is definitely a lot lower than what we're used to coming from college. The level here kind of ranges, I would say. I mean, there's some guys on our team that can step on a college football field and play games. And then there's, you know, there's older guys on the team that, I mean, when I'm that age, I probably won't even be able to walk. You know, one of the most difficult things about practicing is that sometimes you'll show up to practice and there won't be enough guys to practice. You won't have a full O-line or enough DBs or enough receivers, whatever. We got five, Jack. We got five. Yeah. See. Me, Mago, uh, Big. Uh, Big Daddy, Tuna, and David Cezzone. Okay. We are five. Tonight. Magic man, count magic man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, Mago see, is magic. See. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we five. maybe one other. And other's. Marconi so. for, from tomorrow will be here. Perfect. And Big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Coach Browse can sometimes be difficult to understand for us Americans, and so it is hilarious watching him try to communicate with these Italian players at times. Kill play. We need you to help us on O-line tonight. Oh, come on, man. No, huh? Huh? No speak, no speak English. Uh, you speak O-line? You know, as far as attitude, effort, heart, care, camaraderie, all the things that really make up a person, they're, they're really, really good. And the best part about it is the guys play because they love playing. 95% of the Italian players aren't benefiting financially from playing, they're just playing because they love to play. Most of them actually have to pay to play, they gotta buy their own equipment, they gotta travel to practice, it's, it's very inspiring. It's just a situation where it's still football. You know, it might not be football that everybody knows about, or everybody has a concern with or care for, but it's, it's football that, that matters to, to us and it matters to the people over here in uh, Florence, Italy, so we're happy with it. Nice. 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 Okay, right now we're going to post office to get some paper work done for Lynx and Cyrus. Um, this is for staying here in Italy. We're at the post office right now. I don't know why it's the post office, but this is where we file our paperwork to register with the city. Um, there was a whole packet of information that we had to fill out. And with the help of Martin, we were able to fill it out. Now we just have to pay like 100 euros and we'll be registered, good to go for the next five months. Right? 
Yes. Right. Links and I are on a temporary work visa, which means that we can be paid by the team for the amount of time that we're here. But we also had to file residency as soon as we got here, which was a pretty long process. Steve, on the other hand, doesn't have to um, get a visa because he has his Italian citizenship. Uh, we got, we got a new new member, Steve Franco. Hey. He's Italian. He's Italiano American. Italiano American. Uh, so he's here, ready to play. Uh, play as a secondary. His brother's going to come help uh, coordinate the defense. Be here next Thursday. So that that'll be a good deal. Getting bigger and better every time. We got so each team is allowed two Americans, but they're also allowed one. American Italian so an American who has Italian citizenship um, can also be on the team and that's really helpful because that basically gives you three Americans. My name is Steve Franco I'm from Altoona Pennsylvania. I'm able to be a dual citizen because my my father's full-blooded Italian. I was home around Christmas time and I got a message from the team GM and they essentially asked me if I would be interested in being a dual citizenship player. I talked to my family about it and they all told me you know, you're only this age once, you only have an opportunity like this once, so go for it. Me, Silas, and Steve are turning our pee into this doctor's office to see if we have any medical issues, I think. Or they just have like a huge stash of pee that they're just stealing from Americans. We are doing uh, the medical visit because to play you have to do a visit, let's say you, you are okay, you are healthy, and you can play football. Nato, uh, where are you born? Uh, Bakersfield, in USA? Yes. So, Bakersfield, California? California, USA. The medical check was basically making sure that you're healthy enough to, to play at a high level. Uh, they put us through a few different types of exercises to like monitor our breathing and heart rate, and everything checked out, uh, feel good, Test came back positive, so uh, we're ready to play. What time is it right now? 8.30. Gosh. I'll never get over how late we practice, man. Crazy. It's 12 a.m. <laughs> Probably the craziest thing about this experience so far has been practicing at 9 p.m. So we, pr we start practice at 9 p.m., finish by 11. And what's even more crazy is that the Italian players will say, hey, let's go eat afterwards. And I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Uh, so what do you think so far? It's exciting. Can't wait to see the talent. Uh, Excited oh. to play some actual football. I've just been doing recruiting the last couple months. So can't wait to get back to actual on field stuff. Yeah. Better to eat, John. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Straight out of the state. I'm excited. Straight, straight, straight out of the state. I've been doing nothing but show guys around campus for the last it's, it's uh, month. So. Game day. Johnny Franco. I'm the older brother of Steve. I got over here because when they contacted Steve to, to play, I sort of jokingly said to my brother, well, why don't we see if they need a defensive coordinator? Pretty much joking around, I didn't think he'd go for it. And uh, he was like, yeah, we'll ask them. So I, I got back to the guys and it turns out that they had just lost one of their defensive coaches. And then Coach Bryle said, definitely. So this was almost exactly what I was looking for to get to be able to coach and ball, be around some great coaches, great players and enjoy Italy. It's just one of those things we felt like if we had the chance to do it together and we passed it up, we would look back and definitely regret it. How long is the scrimmage on Sunday? Three hours. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time. Okay, so, so it's, it's, it's a, a long it's a, scrimmage. Yeah, well, no, the scrimmage isn't that long, but the whole deal is three hours. The whole deal is three hours. So yeah. it's, it's a good practice. Okay. okay. And then we come together at the end and do a team summary. Okay. Sunday okay. Sunday. okay. Sunday would be a good workout, good scrimmage against the boys from over in uh, Bologna. All right? So that's what we're preparing for, it's what we're getting ready for. We'll have a good test Sunday. They got a good running back, be a great test for us defensively, have a chance to kind of, you know, see where we're at and where we need to go and how we can keep getting better and improving. But got a great turnout tonight, beautiful night. Let's have a great workout, all right? Let's bust our butt, let's have a good workout. Let's get better tonight. Break them down, Maxie, let's go, baby. Set to me!
Nice job. Nice job. Good ball. How do you feel like you're doing at QB? Man, I'm killing it. I mean, I'd be lucky if I don't go back to the States and have just GMs lining up at my door. <laughs> have, you, have you thrown a bad ball yet? I don't know how to throw a bad ball. <laughs> oh! Ah, dang it! Dang it! Ah, dang it! Dang it, mate! Dang it! Dang it, mate! Come on, man! Dang it! Get it out. Get it out of your hand. Get it out of your hand. Let's go. Lynx has gotten a lot better. You know, I'm kind of getting out of Lynx when I thought I would get when I asked him to come over here and play with us. I want an athletic guy that, you know, could beat people with his feet, could throw well enough to keep people from, you know, loading the box on us. The main objective for him at the quarterback position is just protect the ball. You know, I mean, like I say, we've got some good people. If we can get the ball to them, we'll make some plays. And that's that's the number one thing that he's got to do. Just be smart, understand what we're trying to do from a schematic standpoint know the down and distance, know where he needs to go with the ball first and protect the football, and then when it breaks down, make plays on his own. Go score, come! Good job, big man. Throw him! Go score! God, good ball, good ball. Hold up, Dad, I said scoot up one step, Silas. All right, here we go. Right, get out and go. Good, good, good. All right, good job, good job. Defense, offense, both sides. Day good practice tonight, okay? Got a lot of work in. Practice went pretty well. We looked fast, um, kind of getting the hang of the Baylor offense, I'd say, and uh, at least understanding a lot more of the terminology to move faster. So, like, what it comes down to is if you can understand it, you can practice it, then you're going to play it. So, pretty simple. It's really good. Great energy, and that's, that's, that's what I appreciate about it more than anything. Everybody's fired up and ready to go. in this damn facility. Getting ready for a football game, I didn't think to pack my knee pads from America. <laughs> Marco or someone was like, um, do you have knee pads? And I was like, no, I, I don't have knee pads. Was I supposed to pack knee pads from the States and bring them here? <laughs> yeah, last time I played football, I mean, day before the game, you'd get your knee pads, thigh pads, shoulder pads, helmet, cleats, socks, I mean, wristbands, anything and everything you could think of. You always get that. Anybody got extra knee pads? Hey, oh. stop. He already got some. He got some. Spencer! 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 The scrimmage was a major success for us. Um, not necessarily because we played super well, but because it gave us an opportunity to see where we are and where we need to improve. I thought that we were the, the more dynamic team. I wasn't sure that we were really the better team at that time, but we were good enough to win just because of our athletic ability. If it were an actual game, we would have won, but they definitely were more in sync as a team. Um, they're probably, uh, the way I would describe it, they're in mid-season form, we're in pre-season form. But the thing that helped us is that you know, we've got some explosive players, and so we were able to, to single out, you know, some of our explosive guys. Good job, O-line, you fought hard, did good. D-line, good pressure, good pressure. It's kind of hard to get to a quarterback when he's that deep, but you just got to keep grinding. All it takes is one sack, it changes the whole game. Okay, it just takes that one sack. So always think, I'm going to make that sack this play. I'm going to cause that fumble this play, because it can change the whole game. One one month from today, we're going to be 1-0. and So. It's game time, man. It's ready. But I'm proud of you. Did a good job. Give yourself a hand. All right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> you're, you're throwing, and this is something that I always learned, being a quarterback and a receiver myself, a lot of times you'll throw the ball like you're throwing it to you. Mm -hmm. right. And you're not. Right. You know, you throw the ball to who you're throwing it to. Yeah. With him, it's soft, and you let him go get it. It's right. different with him, but it's, you know, everybody's different. So you got to swap say, okay, well, you got to know your receiver. <clears throat> Once again, you need to be spread out a lot wider. You should score there. Right. Okay. But that's what I was wanting you to see. See, he's right that's now. a touchdown right, touchdown right now. now. Right now, mm -hmm. ball's out of your hand. Because that's a walk touchdown. I thought we shut her down after that. This is restarting. Oh, okay. Game. Yeah, okay. We're good. Ooh. 
film's never as bad as you think and never as good as no, you think. No, but it isn't. There's some good plays. I wish we had somebody keeping stats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, be nice to kind of know, you know, like how many carries you had, how many throws you had, what they were. <clears throat> Eight times. Huh? Just now watching, um, I think I threw it like eight or maybe ten times. Maybe ten? No, you I'd had say eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah. Easily. Uh, I'm easily. not thinking too much about like the short stuff, yeah. yeah. No, it's easy. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, 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 Good no, set no, away. Good yeah, set away. Okay. Good work. Good work. You, you get them inside. Hey, nice work. Nice work tonight, guys. Good. Friday night, 9 p.m. All right, we're getting better. We're getting better. The difference between us and the guys we scrimmage the other day is right now they're here, okay? Here's where we are. Our ceiling is, is up here. They're in, they're in mid-season form. We're in pre-season form. So we're, we're going to climb, 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 climb. I'm super excited. I can't wait for the first game. We came out here to enjoy Italy and learn the culture, but uh, most importantly, we came to win. It doesn't matter if you're in the States, you know, playing your rival as a Power Five, or if you're in Italy, you know, playing uh, Parma. I'm just looking at this as a blessing, but at the same time, you know, I didn't come over here not to win and not to give my best on a daily basis and to expect to, you know, to be able to host the trophy in, in early July. Right. 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 Right.